Хорошо, включаю тогда запись. Окей, okay, uh, I'm activating uh, TV uh, coverage and the communication on, on channel 2. Принято. Copy. Final farewells. First, uh, NASA Scott Tingle, now Norashige Kanai of JAXA. And the new station commander, Anton Shkaplerov, saying farewell to Mazurkin, Akaba, and Vandahai, who will momentarily make their way through the hatch into the Soyuz MS-06 spacecraft uh, to close the hatch and uh, make final preparations to suit up and undock from the International Space Station just about three hours and 13 minutes from now. The uh, Soyuz on autonomous power uh, with the crew about uh, to close the hatch on the Soyuz side of the docking interface with the Poisk module. You see Anton Shkaplerov, he'll be wiping down uh, the hatch seal interface uh, that is customary to make sure there's no foreign object debris uh, that uh, would cause a problem uh, with the leak checks that will take place uh, before the vestibule, the short passageway, uh, at the interface uh, between the Soyuz and the station uh, once it is depressurized down to vacuum. And Shkaplerov has now closed uh, the hatch on the Poisk on the Poisk side of the docking interface.
This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, now official confirmation uh, that uh, both hatches are closed at 1.58 p.m. Central Time, 2.58 p.m. Eastern Time. So the crew uh, continuing to move uh, along the way on the timeline. About 15 minutes from now, uh, the crew on uh, both sides of the uh, hatch interface will conduct vestibule leak checks. The Soyuz crew now behind uh, that closed hatchway, that being Mazurkin, Van de Heij, and Akaba, uh, will then begin uh, to don their Sokol launch and entry suits, uh, conduct uh, suit leak checks as uh, they move along the timeline that will lead uh, to the undocking of uh, the Soyuz MS-06 spacecraft from Poisk about three hours and ten minutes from now. Undocking is scheduled again at 5.08 and 30 seconds p.m. Central Time. Yep, Image. It is stable. Undocking is confirmed. Remote, uh, Undocking confirmed at uh, 5.08 p.m. Central Time, 6.08 p.m. Eastern Time, Joint as the Soyuz MS-06 and the International Space Station flew 252 statute miles over southeastern Mongolia. Alexander Mazurkin, Joe Acaba, Mark Van de Heij on the first leg of the trip home. We are standing by for your confirmation. Uh, yes, Gosha, copy that. As soon as we get it, uh, I will report it. Could you please send R5 command from the first panel? Mark, R5 command. Could you please send it? Uh, we are seeing the docking interface, and uh, we do not see any foreign objects on the docking interface. Okay, R5 command is sent. Thank you, Mark. We are receiving a very clear picture, very clear image. We are standing by for the first burn. Yes. Again, undocking occurring at 5.08 p.m. Central Time, Expedition 55 now officially underway aboard the International Space Station. As we stand by for the first of two separation burns, this will be an automated uh, eight-second burn of four of the uh, Soyuz thrusters to increase its opening rate by five-tenths of a meter per second. Okay, could you please send R8 command transition to the wide angle lens? Copy. D7, yes. I confirm D7 command. In 20 seconds, we're sending by for the first burn. Now a wide angle view uh, from the external Soyuz television camera. Just below the crosshairs, you can see the uh, Poisk module docking port from which the Soyuz just separated. Undocking again occurring at uh, 5.08 p.m. Central Time. And the first of the two separation burns underway, this is an eight-second burn. It is not illuminated anymore. And uh, that burn now complete, everything nominal. And the Soyuz now going into a roll program for the correct orientation for the second of the two burns coming up about 
90 seconds from now, which will be a 15 second burn uh, to further increase its opening rate from the station by one and a half meters per second. We see the joint vessel in attitude. Yes, we confirm, uh, and we also see joint vessel. Twenty seconds uh, till the second burn. We confirm. The operation is on. The second uh, in the pair of separation burns now underway. This again a 15 second firing of the thrusters. And the second of the two separation burns complete. Everything looked great. So uh, the opening rate now increasing between uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station. You see the full complex in view from the Soyuz external cameras as uh, both vehicles pass uh, over the far eastern coast of Russia over the Sea of Okhotsk. And there's a view of the Soyuz from external cameras on the International Space Station. Now we have transitioned to the first manifold and sending the eight command. Copy. So SSVP is activated and the 18 command is being sent. Copy. Okay, we will uh, input the uh, data for uh, settings for the descent. Copy. The indicator is not illuminated. Copy. We are deactivating the headlight. The headlight is off. And uh, we are transferring a route controller uh, to transport position. Again, uh, this view. Uh, as the station and Soyuz have passed into an orbital sunrise of the uh, Soyuz MS-06, okay. which uh, undocked from the International Space Station about seven minutes ago. The uh, Soyuz uh, with Alexander Mazurkin, Joe Acaba, and Mark Van de Heij on board will move to a position about 12 miles away from the International Space Station for the deorbit burn that is scheduled just under two hours and 23 minutes from now. Mark, uh, please make sure that my spacesuit uh, is not touching the scandal. So we have uploaded the settings for descent and we have the indicator of descent illuminated and uh, we are ready to send the full command copy inaudible We sent the four command copy. Now and a better view now uh, of the Soyuz MSO6. Its solar arrays uh, clearly in view. 
Again, uh, the Soyuz comprised of three sections. The uppermost section is the orbital module, which has been depressurized uh, in advance of uh, the pyrotechnic separation of the three sections of the Soyuz following the deorbit burn later this evening. The uh, crew is strapped into their respective seats in the middle section, with Mazurkin in the center seat, flanked on his left by Vandehei and by Akaba on his right. The uh, bottommost section is the instrumentation and propulsion module, which will uh, have uh, exhausted its uh, lifetime of usefulness after the deorbit burn that's coming up in uh, two hours and 21 minutes. We spent, uh, we consumed nine kilograms of propellant. I'm just trying to find the vertical piece. I did not unlock the... Uh, Sasha, Mark, Joe. Sasha, Mark and Joe. This is Anton. I wish you a successful flight. We are already missing you. Uh, thank you, Georgi. This is not Georgi, this is Anton. Uh, Anton, uh, you know, uh, you probably will be rich, you know, when because I did not recognize your voice. Uh, all right, we also wish you a successful flight on board uh, the station, and uh, we will be standing by for the pictures from the outer space. We'll be seeing you on the ground. Thank you. Well, this is uh, MCC Moscow. Uh, we are not saying goodbye yet. Uh, we still have work to do. Altair. There we go. Uh, right now, we don't have a lot to do for a while. Okay. I see some wires. It doesn't on the way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this one. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston, that conversation uh, between Anton Shkaplerov uh, and the crew on board uh, the Soyuz MSO-6. They're tied together uh, for the time being by a VHF communications link. Shkaplerov indicating uh, to uh, the crew on board uh, the Soyuz, we already miss you. And flight controllers of the Russian Mission Control Center in Karolyov indicating we still have work to do. That work uh, in front of uh, everybody involved here includes uh, the deorbit burn two hours and 18 minutes from now. That will lead to a landing of the Soyuz on, south, on the steppe of south central Kazakhstan three hours and 11 minutes from now at 8.31 p.m. Central Time. Mark, is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Down in Kazakhstan, uh, the weather forecast for landing calls uh, for overcast, uh, an overcast ceiling at 700 feet. Visibility uh, will be somewhat diminished, three statute miles and light fog with a few snowflakes in the air. Winds uh, out of the southwest, 12 knots gusting to 18, and a temperature of about 30 degrees Fahrenheit at landing time, which is not too bad for late February, uh, given Kazakhstan weather conditions, uh, which are very dynamic this time of the year.
Кабель, давай. Ты обойдешь ее? They had me walk over there with him.
Одна минута. Тридцать шесть минут. Запятая четыре ноль шесть. Значит, медицинский вертолет сел. Медицина подходит. На подходе палатка. Ты с кем сейчас? С Вагубом? Ну да все, окончательное решение. Уходим на джет. Да, вон, да, вон, да. Палатка придет. Значит,
Саня, ты чего угол грузил? Да, видимо. Полгода. Ты что, так высоко летает? Как ты думаешь? Я не тот, что не А вы Water. Water. Hey. No, 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 no. It's, it's I got your watch. I'll hang on to your watch. Долго будет, поэтому я попозже сейчас прошу поступать этим по грузам где-то. Там же были изменения у нас. Посрочным грузом и по там всех мы там. Роман, Виталий. Во-первых, тот, который ее файл передача. Он не штатная ситуация, тут карманчики люди. Ага, понятно. Все остальное, я думаю, давайте я вам. Вообще я файл скидывал по Владимировичу, он должен был перейти по команде. Красный рюкзак. Красный рюкзак. Давление, Нет, тут нет, тут нормально. Пуль 70, у вас такая, да. Там получили или нет? Не, нормально. Самое главное, чтобы ты не забил. Главное, чтобы он был хорошо. Нужно оценить, как проходила посадка, как ваше самочувствие. Хорошо. Хорошо. Супер. 
Ну что, вот мы уже и... Очень рад вас видеть. Спасибо. Первый раз